Hi, welcome to this week's episode of Scandals and Animals, episode two. Uh, obviously, Luther thinks he's co-host, so he's joining us. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> nothing to say, Jesse? Oh, uh, okay. sorry. Okay, um, so this week, one of the reasons why Luther's being so needy is because we went away for a long weekend. We went to Denver to celebrate our one-year anniversary. Yep. You want to tell us about it, Jesse? Yeah, it was Look a good, at the camera. It was a good time. We had fun. One year anniversary, Denver, Colorado. Mm -hmm. So we went to Denver on our mini moon, which was like our little mini honeymoon we took. Um, so we decided we found some really cheap tickets. So we decided we might as well repeat it. And uh, we had a good time. Mm -hmm. So what did we do the first day? We Well, first off, it snowed, which you'll see. We have some clips. Um, yeah. So that wasn't fun. It didn't snow an awful lot, though. No, it was just flurries. Yeah. While we ate our bagels. Oh, yeah. What else? Oh, we went to... Um, the African American History Museum for the West. Oh, yeah, in the West. So what that was is it was um, a female doctor's house that was restored. And we actually talk about it on Jesse's podcast. Um but we'll talk about it here too, I guess. So it was a combination of uh, the Five Points neighborhood history and also um, the role that African Americans played in the West. Um, so the guy who ran it, it was he bought the house that was going to be torn down of this prominent woman and turned it into a museum. It was basically his like collection of Wild mm. West artifacts. So. Yeah, and there was like a a section of it where it was just like modern cowboys too, even. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you saw that even, but yeah. Like, I did see that, like rodeo and stuff. Yeah, like rodeo people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it was a little bit different than what we were expecting because it was kind of a hodgepodge, but it was interesting still. And they had um, a lot of kind of general African-American history as well. So they had little things that was like, did you know this person created this or did this thing like the person who created the stoplight was african-american i had no idea i don't remember his name because i never thought about who invented the stoplight right but turns out he was african-american yeah so that's pretty cool mm -hmm. yeah what did we do after that um well we napped because we had been up since like 3 a 3 a.m to fly from new orleans right yeah and then we went to a, a new Mexican restaurant. Oh, yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, or, we have... I guess it was new Mexican. Yeah, we have some clips from that. So we got, they called them Navajo tacos. But it was basically Indian tacos, which is just a taco on top of fried bread. But this was like pita mm -hmm. bread. That's kind of a sick out of it's pretty decent. Yeah, it was so tasty. I would say it's pita bread, though. I mean, it wasn't crispy like fried bread. It wasn't naan. Yeah. It just wasn't fried. Or if it was, right. it was like very lightly fried. It was healthy fried bread. I liked it. That's good. Yeah, I liked the actual taco part. Well, and we that went... queso I got. Oh, my gosh. I just forgot about that. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I want some now. I'm so hungry. We went to uh, Voodoo Donuts. Oh, yeah, we got Donuts. I love donuts. Got a Mexican Coke there. Yeah. Remember that? Oh yeah, that's always fun. Jesse loves the Mexican Cokes. He loves the real sugars. Yeah. I kind of like diet soda, even though, mm. like, I, guess I don't know, like, I just like the taste. Yeah, I guess cancer tastes good. Yeah, it tastes delicious. Yeah. That's what you're into? Yeah. Then we have, we went to a hot spring, which we have some clips of. And we, the this is on our actual anniversary. Oh and, yeah. And then we ate voodoo donuts and watched Game of Thrones. It was real good. Yeah. Well, Jesse was asleep during Game of Thrones, but I sure. thoroughly enjoyed watching it. Yeah. yeah. But I watched it the next day, so I saw it nevertheless. Yeah. So yeah. While I matter. packed, he watched Game of Thrones, and while I cleaned the Airbnb, marriage. Just kidding, you helped. No, you didn't help clean. Okay. Anyways. Then we went to Wild Animal Sanctuary. We have clips of it. 
and then we flew home and we are very tired and Luther Bubbins, who I don't know if I can get him. He's right here hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. Luther Bubbins was very excited to have us home. Yep. Jesse, are you having a great time? Yeah, I guess. Do you like the snow in our face? I don't know, not particularly. It's snowing. I can't really look because it's so bright. My eyes are sensitive. Okay, so I'm gonna try this thing. Is this supposed to be spicy? But it's very sweet. Jesse and I are out Pokemoning. Yep. Yeah, we just had dinner the night before our anniversary at a new Mexican place. And I don't guess I can't turn the camera around. But we're along this beautiful lake promenade thing. Out in like the suburbs of Denver. So this is how we proposed, or how he proposed. We went Pokemoning. Full circle. Oh, yeah. Right, Bubs? Yeah. So right now we just finished brunch and we are on our way. Can you please like, can you? What? Am I gonna have to wear heels if we're gonna be in the same photo together? Probably. Anyways, we're on our way to Hot Springs. It, uh, yeah, like hot mineral water. I don't know, it should be fun. We're driving in the mountains on our way to the hot springs. And it's just so beautiful. Wild Animal Sanctuary. Want to tell them about it, Jesse? Uh, it's this uh, animal sanctuary uh, just outside Denver. It just it, uh, just has a lot of animals that were in, like get found by people who had exotic pets, or they were just rehomed from other cat in captivity places. Yeah. Like other sanctuaries, I suppose. Yeah, there's some animals from some sanctuaries that got closed down by the USDA, some like random zoos in Mexico, and then a lot of people who like, oh yeah, I can totally have like a wolf cub as a pet. This will be fine. No. And then obviously it doesn't work out. No. What's been your favorite animal we've seen so far? Um, probably the bears. Really? Yeah. It kind of surprises me. Okay. I think my favorite that we've seen so far has been, um, I don't know, it's really hard to choose, but probably the little, um, the little lynx things. Oh, okay. Because they look so cute and fluffy. I think I got some video of them, so maybe we'll put them in. Okay. okay. Do you not want to just, like, pet that little sweetheart? With the lynx? Yeah. No, I'm good. It's too high up. This is too high up. But he's so cute, look at him. I'm getting nervous up there. Just wrap your little armies around him. I'm gonna die. 
kind of off me. Yep. Oh, oh that's really close on your face. Oops. And there's lions. I can't really see it there. Oh. No. Oh, let's go look. Oh, it's like, like a cat. I think that's snow. It's a feral cat. Oh, that's a feral cat? Okay. Asher sits exactly like that with his little ears up. Are you Asher's daddy? Were you in love with a kitty cat and made Asher? You can do it again in case you okay. didn't get it. Yeah, you can just, you can, maybe one more time? No. It's enough. Okay, better. I love you. I love you too. So you can see from our clips, we had a great trip. It was fun. Show sure did. Uh, we're still trying to figure out the best format so for the, the channel thing and the videos. So if you have feedback, you can email us. We're using our old wedding email address because I'm lazy and I don't want to make a new one. Um, no. <laughs> I know, right? Well, and plus you already have the one for the podcast. I mean, how many emails can we have? Okay. Um, we have too many. Too Google, many as it is. Google has the internet, so it was a matter. Anyways, so you can email us at wintersrunnelswedding at gmail.com. So that's W-I-N-T-E-R-S-R-U-N-N-E-L-S. At what? what wedding. Dang it. Wedding. At gmail.com. At gmail.com. I always forget how to spell his last name. It's probably good I didn't take it. I never it's know horrible. if it's double N or double L. It's double N, one L. I know. How hard? Oh, actually, I don't know that. I can't remember. I don't know. It seems like it should have two L's. Well, it doesn't. Okay, maybe just don't have double anything so I don't have to be confused. It's not hard. You know what's not hard? Winters. Easiest name ever. Only thing that could make it easier is if it were just winter. Yeah, that would show your... the antipathy or ice cold heart. I don't even know what antip antipathon is a word. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not ice cold anyways. Sure. Anyways, email us your ideas. And... You can like and subscribe to our channel at Scandals and Animals on YouTube. And if you feel the urge, you can um, like and subscribe to the Ramblin' Runnels podcast on Google Play, Spotify, iTunes, podbean.com even. He's always taking over my things. This well, is my thing and the podcast is his thing, but well, whatever. you asked whatever. me to sign off and I signed off. Okay. All right. Luther, take us out. Meow, meow.